Hey guys, this is Nate from USMC Airsoft, and yeah, I'm talking kind of raspy because I am making this video very late at night, but like promised again, I'll be showing you how to make the actual casings for the smoke grenades. So obviously, here's what you're going to need. You're obviously going to need toilet paper roll or paper towel roll. Usually, I can get three toilet paper rolls out of one paper towel roll. So I save a lot on using just paper towel rolls. And obviously, you're going to need duct tape and something hard and circular. Pervert that there. Don't take it the wrong way. And to hold the shape of the toilet paper or paper towel roll while you're wrapping the duct tape. All right, so let's start off with the first step. Uh, this is just where we're going to make the end cap on the tube. We're just going to put a short piece of duct tape on it and cup it around. Grab another short piece and put it on the opposite way. And just take your hand and push it down around the tube. And then you can take a long piece that will make the circumference of the circle and just wrap it around and smooth out the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's covered because you're going to go over to the second layer of tape anyway. Alright, so now let's go to the next step. Now we're going to take our circle object, put it in the tube so it holds the shape. And we're just going to take a piece of duct tape and wrap towards the top and as far as you can get and this should clear the whole entire roll. And it, I'm sorry if I make this video out to be very complicated, it's not. And I'm just showing you what you should do so then the toilet paper will hold its shape because the smoke when it comes out of the roll, it really does have an effect on the shape of the roll and how the smoke cloud looks. So we're going to finish that up. Now it's nice and smooth and then we're going to do the final step which is very easy. Alright, so now that you have that all wrapped and ready to go. I keep wrapping it with more layers of duct tape so when you're holding it, for, even for a little bit so it doesn't hold, burn your hands. And I just keep going with the way it's wrapping because you don't want it uneven but even, even if it's like uneven, like I'll show you like right here how it has all the wrinkles. That doesn't really matter because you're going to throw it and burn it anyway. So let's just keep wrapping on and try to get as tight to the bottom as possible. And if you go over a little bit, you can just bend it over because it's not going to make a difference. So we're going to take our last piece and make sure that's evenly folded. And we're going to wrap around the fold. Now, we're going to take a tissue, stuff it in, and you can take either a pen or scissors, I don't care which one you use, and just stuff them in the bottom. The tissue's there mainly for the bottom of the mixture to get lit and ignited because sometimes the duct tape at the bottom prevents full combustion of the mixture. So you want that tissue there to ensure the flame. Alright, so now that we have it done, we're going to call this video quits. And here's the final picture. Shows what it should look like. And we're going to call it quits. Don't forget to like on this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel.